Hey guys, what's up? So, is this actual episode from my training series? I mean, is this actually real? I can honestly believe it myself. So, it's been literally like a week since I uploaded the previous one. But why so? What's the reason behind it? Well, to be honest, countless amount of you asked me this and I'm pretty sure I already gave you guys some kind of hint in one of my older videos and told you in fact that it might actually take a bit more time to get a trade or two done when dealing with so expensive items I have right now. But yeah guys, with all this being said, let's actually get right into the video. So in the first trade of this episode, I've sold my unusual Burning Flames hazmat headcase for a Burning Flames Patriot Peak. Now, you may actually know this hat, it's a new hat, uh, it went all class not long ago and the hazmat was honestly pretty hard to sell. Uh, this is one of the reasons, one of the main reasons why I actually decided to make this trade happen. Uh, also not mentioning that the hazmat was also duped. And also I think I made like 500 keys of clear profit, so definitely a really great start of this episode. However, don't get uh, too jelly yet, please, uh, let me explain you what happened next. Uh, well, as you may remember, not long ago I've decided to buy a pair of vintage earbuds, uh, thinking I might actually resell them for a lot more than I uh, bought them for. Uh, by the way, um, just to refresh your mind, I paid with Dark Blaze Gibbous, Subatomic Spaceman and Cloud9 Algezer, and I think I also added the Pro-KS uh, Australian Sniper Rifle and SMG. I would probably round this uh, at like 600 and plus keys, now, you may be asking, why do I even mention this? Well, this was a really stupid mistake on my side. Actually, giving it a second thought, uh, I didn't make much research about it, and it was honestly just stupid, uh, in general. And uh, it didn't take long, and soon the vintage earbuds dropped uh, by like 350 keys, which is in fact like 50% uh, off. So, obviously, sooner or later, I've uh, realized that I won't be able to resell them for uh, more than I bought them for. So, I've actually tried uh, my best to sell them for like uh, 2 weeks, I actually traded for like uh, 5 hours straight each day. But to be real with you guys, nobody was interested in even offering on them. So I waited for like 3 days uh, and actually someone offered me something. And I didn't even consider it uh, for too long and I quickly took it. I've sold my duped vintage earbuds for Phosphorus Executioner and the Scorching Flames Towering and also Blizzard Storm uh, Phantom. All this together, it should round up all to like uh, at least 380 keys. So speaking of which, I lost like 220 keys-ish. So technically speaking, I lost like literally half of the profit I made uh, in the first trade of this episode with the burning Patriot Peak. So yeah, that's kind of sad, but uh, let's actually move on. So in the third rate, I've sold my Blizzard this Storm Phantom for like uh, I think 8 keys spear and 3 keys uh, in items. But I actually got an idea that I might actually resell it on Scrap.tf. So right after this trade, I went onto the site and decided to quick sell it for a key spear. Now Scrap.tf paid me 16 key spear and some ref on top, which is more than enough in my opinion. Uh, considering the ace is high, a luchador was selling for a little less than 15 keys at the time. So in total, I've sold it for like 27 keys, which is more than enough in my opinion because uh, considering there were sales of the same hat. Uh, not long ago for like 20 ish keys. Now that's a good trade. But yeah, not long after I've sold one of my game gift copies for pure keys and I used these two keys to complete one of the upcoming trades. So I've decided to include this trade in an episode for obvious reasons. In the next trade of this episode, I've uh, bought yet another key with some of my refined metal. Uh, so I ended up with three keys pure. And I actually used this three keys pure as ads uh, with my Pro KS uh, Vintage Ubasa and Australian knife to buy a gut knife Doppler and uh, this was insanely good trade in my opinion because he overpaid in CSGO items for a Thief 2 items so I really had to take this, uh, I mean I didn't even consider uh, for a while but yeah guys, meanwhile I've sold most of my painted cosmetics for pure keys and I actually decided to sell them on Steam Community Marketplace and I actually managed to snipe a really good deal on the uh, Bayonet Scorched uh, on the Steam Community Market. I got it for insanely low and uh, indeed it was a really good and lucky trade. Okay guys, so in conclusion, right now I have Burning Patriot Peak, Scorching Flames Team Captain, Scorching Flames Towering and the Phosphorus Executioner. Now from CSGO items I have a gut knife Doppler, um, the Bayonet Scorch and that's basically it. I will see what I can do until the next episode and also please if you are new to my channel uh, feel free to subscribe and yeah. But yeah guys I'm afraid this is all for now, I will see you guys until the next one.